Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 40, event delegation in jQuery, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about what is jQuery event delegation. So, as we saw in the last example, like event delegation allows us to attach a single event listener to a parent element that will execute for all the descendants matching a selector. So, to understand this sentence very clearly, let me take you to Visual Studio and this is what we performed in the last session okay like here we have a button element as well as we have a do element and inside the do element we have a paragraph elements now as soon as I click on the paragraph element this paragraph elements will get fade out because here is the code for that so as soon as I click on the paragraph element paragraph element is not having any function handler event handler to fade out the paragraph but that will be pushed to the parent element div div is having an event handler which does that work so this is what the meaning of this sentence event delegation allow us to attach a single event listener to a parent element that will execute for all the descendants matching selector in the sense here you have a paragraph click on the any paragraph that particular click okay event will be not handled by the paragraph because it is not having any event handler and that will be popped up to the parent element parent element is going to handle this event handler which is clicked on the paragraph okay it's going to fade out the paragraph element and that's the meaning of this sentence and now in the last session we achieved uh, we achieved like okay uh, how to add the event handler to dynamically created element now this example let me push to the browser and let me show you there and this example can be done in other manner also and let me show you that in this present in this session so now it's taking me to Chrome browser it takes some time the build has started you can observe at the left bottom and once the build has completed it pushes the page to the Chrome browser because my default browser is Chrome and yes it has succeeded now it's taking us to Chrome and here you can observe it renders the paragraph with the button now when I click on the paragraph it's getting disappeared faded out let me refresh now what I'll do I'll add new paragraphs and now when I click on that you can observe here okay it's getting faded out this is what we saw in the last session now this can be achieved with the help of this we are achieving with the help of on method and this can be achieved with the help of other method also the event delegation that is both on and delegate functions allow us to perform event delegation so let me show you what it is instead of making use of on method what I'll do is I'll make use of delegate so but keep in mind this delegate okay to that first I have to give a uh, element okay oh sorry for that what happened yeah oh here is my paragraph element so what I need to do is first the parameter what I'm going to give is the element then the event for the delegate we have to pass the parameters in this manner like first the element then the click event and then the function handler now when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh now I can add new paragraphs now when I click on the dynamically added paragraphs they're getting fade out and these paragraphs too so what we understood from this is we instead of using on function we can also make use of delegate function so now what I'll do is I will add a button first and later let me explain you what I'm going to do there So let me copy and paste this button itself just to save the time. And ID is undelegate. So undelegate fading. Okay. Now let me now I have two buttons let me go back and refresh now you can observe here now when I click on add new paragraph paragraphs are being added dynamically now now when I click on this paragraph elements they're getting fade out but now what I'll do is now I'll click on this undelegate fade button now as soon as I click on this undelegate fade button now afterwards when I click on this text this text should not get faded out so how can I undelegate undelegate this function happening we can do that with the help of okay um, undelegate method or else we can use off method first let me show you this undelegate method so what I'll do is first so what I'll do is first let me 
uh, first identify the button with the ID so let me copy this code itself and let me edit there so the ID will be my button delegate okay then your instead of your so what I'm trying to do here is I'm telling to the div just undelegate that fade effect so first I need to par pass a paragraph then the event name to the delegate control s okay now let me go back here and let me refresh now you can observe here when I click on the add new paragraph they're getting added now as soon as I click on them they're getting fade out the rest of them also now my objective is now as soon as I click on this undelegate fade that fade effect fade out what thing is happening it should stop so now let me add paragraph now I'm clicking it it's fading out again let me click on add paragraphs now what I'll do is I'll click on this undelegate fade now you can observe here now when I click on the paragraph that fade a fade out thing what was happening it's been stopped so how did I undelegate that okay undelegate that effect with the help of this undelegate method so we can use okay uh, instead of on method we can use with the delegate function also and instead of off we can go with the undelegate so let me show you uh, this with the off method it's very simple now what I'll do is first as usual I'll go with the on method and let me cut this and let me paste here to the on method we have to give first the event then the element and this too let me change here control s now instead of undelegate we can also use off method which does the same work control s now when I click on add new paragraph you can observe they're getting added now when I click on the text they're getting fade now when I click on this undelegate fade it should not fade out the text anyhow you can observe this very clearly so what we can do is instead of using undelegate we can go with the off and instead of on we can go with the delegation the delegate but keep in mind if we are using jQuery 1.7 or IA version jQuery recommends us to use on over the delegate function and also um, instead of you if you're using jQuery version 1.7 IA version jQuery recommends to use off over the undelegate in the sense if you're using jQuery version 1.7 and above then I have to go with on and off method compulsorily without and that's recommended from jQuery.com okay I hope you understood this so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankh Pro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for the reference ref our website we are on LinkedIn too Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.